Hi everyone, this is DJ. Today I got another video for you guys that is part of my Amazon Fire TV Tips and Tricks video series that aims to help users get the most out of their Amazon Fire TV device. Today's tip is going to be the Smart Home Dashboard with a bonus of the Missa Shortcut Panel. If you have Smart Home devices set up in your house like uh, Ring Doorbell, Smart Plugs, or Smart LED Lights, this new feature will come in very useful for a lot of you. So let's go check it out right after this. Now before we begin, in order for this to work, you got to make sure that the user account that you have set up in your Fire TV device is the same as the user account in the Miss A app. Otherwise, it will not show you any of your smart devices. All right, so in order to launch the smart home dashboard, you can do this in a couple of ways. So if we go over to my remote, first way will be you press and hold the microphone button. You know, all you got to do is say, show me my smart home and it will launch the smart home dashboard. And the second way will be you press and release the microphone button, pretty much just tap it once. And launches the Miss A shortcut panel that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now, this is a great idea from Amazon. Um, utilize another button to access another menu. Of course, it's got limitations. In here, you got access to your smart home dashboard, the weather, library, and use. Now, none of these are customizable. You can't add or remove a shortcut in here. It is what it is for now. Hopefully someday Amazon will allow people to change and customize this shortcut panel. The weather will bring you your local forecast for the day and pretty much a few hours of the day. That's about it. Library, this is a shortcut to the library section, which you usually access from the find tab on the main Fire TV navigation menu. And the news, this will launch Amazon's news app that they have pre-installed on every Fire TV device. And like I said, unfortunately, none of these are customizable. You can't change which app will, app will launch when you press on news. So if we go into our smart home dashboard and check that out. All right, this is the smart home dashboard. In the main screen, you got a couple of rows. You got your cameras where you can just scroll through them. And then underneath, you got favorites. Now, the favorites, this is something that needs to be set up in the Miss A app. There's no option in here where you can add or remove something to the favorites. But once you do this in the app, then you can just scroll through all your favorites in here, which comes in handy for smart devices that you use all the time. You can just access them from here. Then, of course, you can go to the top and have access to all your smart lights here, smart plugs, and another section for your cameras and just a different layout in here. Personally, I find this useful where I got access to everything within the smart home dashboard. So, for example, if you go to your cameras, I can launch the front camera, view something there. When I'm done, I just press the back button of the remote and then go to another camera from in here. Done with that one, select another one, and so on. And the same thing goes for the smart plugs and lights. You can check to see if anything is left on or if you need to turn a smart plug on or a light, you can just do it within here. And when it comes to the lights, besides of turning them on and off, if I go to light one here, now, if I press the select button on the remote, it's pretty much just going to turn it off. But if I press the three line button, the menu button on your remote, you get the screen here. So you can just turn it on and off from here. But also, you also have the option to adjust the brightness. So if you need to dim the lights, for example, you just do it from right in here and vice versa. All right. Now, if we go back to the smart home, of course, besides the convenience of being able to access all your smart devices in here that are set up in your Miss A app, I know some people are going to say, well, why don't you just use your smartphone, but sometimes you don't have your smartphone with you. And if you're getting ready to watch a movie on one of your Fire TV devices, I think this is a convenient way to access something. Now, this is an Amazon idea. They come up with something good and some great idea, but it also has got some flaws, limitations, and of course, bugs. One of the limitations besides the option of being able to add or remove something in your favorites 
there's no support for smart thermostats. Sometime in 2022, they may be coming out with support for smart thermostats where they may add another tab up here or another row in the main homepage. A couple of the bugs will be with the cameras. When Amazon was marketing the smart home dashboard, this is what they showed. Uh, this is how it's supposed to look. We got thumbnails on the cameras, but as you can see here, there's nothing. Another bug is with the Blink camera and doorbell. For some reason, they don't work in the smart home dashboard here. They work perfectly fine in the Miss A app, but not in, in the smart home dashboard. The Wise cameras and the Ring cameras, they work fine, no issues. But besides that, um, I personally find this useful. But what do you guys think? Is this something you may use? Do you find this useful? Do you guys have smart home devices set up in your house? I would love to know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. All right, I think that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new video that I upload. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.